of the diverse chemical reactions which can occur in the body. Many involve the removal of electrons from a reacting atom or molecule. This is known as oxidation, and oxygen is a mediator of this reaction. Too much oxidation is dangerous, however. Abnormally high levels can be detrimental and even toxic to cells. Something known as oxidative stress can be caused by very reactive forms of oxygen, known as reactive oxygen species. These reactive oxygen species, or ROS, are capable of damaging essentially every cell type and intracellular organelle in the body. ROS worsen heart disease because they increase inflammation, they oxidize LDL particles, and they affect macrophages. ROS are produced from a variety of sources, such as air pollution, white blood cells, fibroblasts, endothelial cells, mitochondria, and are worse in situations such as hyperglycemia, hypertension, smoking, high blood cholesterol, advanced age, and ketosis. All of these will produce reactive oxygen species and worsen oxidative stress. Because of the negative effects of oxidative stress and high levels of reactive oxygen species, antioxidants are beneficial to the body. They prevent the damage and the signaling of reactive oxygen species, reduce inflammation, reduce blood pressure, and reduce the damage to blood vessel linings. Vitamin E is the primary fat-soluble antioxidant of the body, and LDL particles include an average of 5 to 9 vitamin E molecules and other antioxidants. And thus, the number of antioxidants in an individual's diet, in addition to the antioxidants which the human body makes, such as the enzyme paraoxinase 1, uh, these uh, function as antioxidants reducing oxidative stress, and their variations, whether in diet or genetic variations, can affect an individual's risk of heart disease.